Hey guys, Gaston here from Connecting Tennis. Welcome to another video. Today, I want to talk a little about uh, something that a lot of people have been asking. Again, I'm, I'm trying to get into the all the things that I'm getting out of the forehand course, the forehand week. And there was something that I, I felt also, like when I talked on the last video about the hitting in front. This is going to be connected because we're actually going to talk about the bracket lag on the forehand. And this... Uh, relaxation you know this uh freedom this smoothness that you can have in your hand to make the you know the slap on the ball that when you look at the you know at the forehand in slow motion it actually you can see how the hand has a freedom to work and to slap the ball in front and have a really clean point of impact in front and i i feel that a lot of recreational players struggle with this you know they feel a little more stiff like I said, many of them, and I mean, not only recreation, I see at, at even at higher levels how people, you know, and players struggle to get this freedom in the hand and to understand that the racket lag is so important because it's gonna allow you to get the ball, you know, a good point of impact in front, like we were talking on the last video that we work on the net. You know, if you haven't seen this video, go, you're gonna have the link uh, somewhere around here. Just take a look at that one because that one is gonna give you an idea on how to hit in front and a couple of drills to hit in front. This one, I just want to show you and just want to talk about, you know, a couple of, I'm going to put from the side the camera after and show you the different uh, angles on when you have to, to let the hand go. All right, so let's get into today's video. <laughs> For the semi-western and the eastern grip, I'm gonna show you both, but you're gonna see that on both of them, even if I would, I would do a continental, the racket lag is always there. When I talk about racket lag, what is the racket lag? When you take the racket behind to make a shot, the moment you start to bring your body forward, if your hand is loose, what's gonna happen? You're gonna make this rotation so quick that you can see that the racket drops because it's like, you know when you pull something, you know, you pull somebody real quick that the body goes but the head stays behind? This is the same, okay? Think about this. You're pulling the racket so fast that the racket is going to fall to then create this lag on the hand to then hit in front. If you don't have this racket lag and your hand comes complete here, you can see like this, you're not going to have any racket lag. Your point of impact, it will be here. How you are going to hit with the hand in front there? It will be always cross court. So you need this racket lag, okay, this break here, I'm gonna try to make it slow motion here, look. When I prepare here, the moment that I drop and I start to coil, look the racket what does here. You can see this, okay, again. The moment I start and I start to coil, look how the racket drops, creating this L, okay, this 90 degree on my hand, to then come forward and at the point of impact, yes, create a natural movement to hit the ball. A lot of people ask me, how much do you involve your wrist on the point of impact? Well, after the racket lag, which would be the first involvement, the moment of impact, your hand is gonna come, you can see here, your hand is gonna come 90 degrees, okay, here, until the moment of impact really in front, and then from here, you're gonna make a natural movement of the hand, you know, hitting the ball and closing. You can see that I'm putting my hand here to make you to, to make you pay attention into the natural movement that the wrist does that after hitting it's just the natural movement of closing the hand you can see now your arm is in a perfect natural position and then keeps rotating okay and now of course you involve everything to make the whole rotation i see many pros and it really makes me ah it makes me mad and makes me sad you know i think sad is the best word when i see pros just teaching you know players to rotate like this I mean, guys, like only by doing this, I, my, my, you know, my, my, my hand is hurting. You know, I can feel it. How are you going to teach a player to rotate like this? You know, from the moment of impact, instead of making a movement forward, a good follow through and a natural, which is important to take care of your wrist, a natural movement, players from here, just rotating like this. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean whatever. Uh, just pay attention that everything has to be a natural movement for your body. If you don't have a natural movement, if you don't make a natural movement in the long term, you're gonna get hurt, 
you're gonna hit a ball you know stronger than you, you you should have and then you're gonna feel pain and then it's gonna become chronic you know guys first involvement racket lag once it gets in front after the point of impact your wrist is got, has to make a natural movement here boom impact a natural movement closing and then after this once it's in this position you know natural what what comes rotating is the body that is come, coming forward so your wrist is only rotating naturally it's not that you're hitting the ball and rotating your wrist like this all right so now let me show you i'm going to show you from semi-western and eastern okay so for people that use these different grips from the side how the hitting would be in slow motion okay with the racket lag you're going to see the racket lag happening the point of impact and then how the the hand goes all right let's take a look First the semi-western, then the eastern, how all of them, okay, both. I make the break here, and the moment, when I was dropping the ball, okay, imagine the ball is coming, but the moment you start to turn and to coil with your hips to go forward, your racket is totally drop. It could be like this, it could be like this, depending on how you, you know, I know players, some of them, you know, take the racket here, some go straight with the racket like Djokovic. You can see that Djokovic, the first thing he does is, taking okay the face of the racket facing behind which is what i do some players don't turn too much some players stay more here and then from here they drop so here the racket will be facing there you can see that mine is more facing down and then coming forward but the racket like you can see that the moment that the ball is it's just bouncing and pending there what happens you're gonna see my hand here if you stop the video this racket lag is what's gonna allow you to have this you know this trigger in the hand to drop and then from here boom hit in front and have this you know when you see players that you're like man that was really fast that forehand was like a you know like it like a shot exactly it's because of this i mean of course with the whole kinetic chain and everything but what allows okay the racket allows what allows is the hit in front the point of impact in front and then having this this you know like uh like you uh the example of slapping somebody in the face kind of like the same you know you when you're going or slap something you know to, to don't talk about slapping somebody on the face if you're gonna slap the racket you know when you you're gonna take your your hand here and you're gonna take let me show you from here you're gonna take your hand behind you know to hit somebody but the moment you take it when you start to come forward your hand is gonna it's gonna be left behind to then slap same thing if you're gonna toss a you know baseball you, you're gonna take it back once you start to come up forward you can see uh, that the you know the, the shoulder is left behind the hand is gonna be left behind to then throw in front same thing for all of them all right you can apply this with many sports and the same way works here all right so i hope you guys like this one i wanted just to clarify and talk a little more about this like the video if you like it share with your friends subscribe to the channel if you didn't i will see you guys on the next one thank you